Well, today I'm here at Strombuck and I've just visited a really beautiful town of Strombuck and uh, certainly has uh, lots of fairy tale aspects. A tower with a princess no doubt locked in it and uh, just all sorts of beautiful things to see which I shall probably cut in over this voiceover at this about this point. I'm here to take a little ride back to Strava but this particular section of the line is Strambuk to Studenka and it seems to be run primarily by these class 811 DMUs which remind me of our old paces so I'm looking forward to sharing this journey and we'll have a go at what the uh, Czech paces are like so come along we'll see how it goes. Studenka is on the main line between Ostrava and Olomouc so today we'll be making our way back to Stedenka through Koprivnica, Tribor, Skopnica, Sedlenica and then into Studenka where the train terminates. It's just a short run, 21 kilometres and it will take us 31 minutes. And here's our Class 811 DMU with a power car and a trailer forming a two-car unit. They were built as Class 810 by Vagonka Studenka between 1973 and 1982. As we'll see, they've been extensively refurbished to Class 811 by Cheska Drahi's own workshops, DPOV. And here we go, no level boarding here. We can immediately see that this end of the unit has plenty of space for bicycles and pushchairs. The seats are in a 2x3 configuration, but there is more space than there used to be in the old 810s as they've cut the seating capacity down from the original 54 to now just 44 in each coach. There are USB ports for every bank of seats. And although they look uncomfortable, I can attest that they're a lot nicer than the Class 800 second class seats in the UK. There's a small bin and a nice little drinks table and somewhere to put your bag if it's busy. And there's the newly fitted customer information screen. Koprivnica is the home of Tatra Trucks. There's been automotive manufacturing on this site since 1897. There's also a museum which I'd happily visit, but it was closed on the day I was passing. Well, here at the other end of the carriage, we certainly get a very light and airy feel, although it's very noisy and boy does it bounce. There's even an onboard ticket machine available in English, and the little bell is used for the request stops. Somebody's pressed the request stop button. Obviously they want to get off at Skotnitsa. We're now joining the electrified line that serves Mojnov Ostrava Airport. Right, we've just got a couple of minutes to try out the facilities. Well, I'm pleased I've got a window open in here. Given that the train was recently refurbished, it's no surprise to find that everything was working pretty well. But hang on, what's this? I think they did a really bodge job when they possibly ripped out the old toilet to replace it with this new one. 
An adult return on this line costs 88 Czech Karuna, which is about £3. Which is of course excellent value. And soon we're arriving into Studenka, but not into the main station. We've got our own little vestigial platform at the side. And that's that, just a quick hop to Studenka on one of these refurbished Class 811s. And yes, it is very reminiscent of our Pacers, although much better kept inside. I'm sure the journey would have been even noisier had we traveled in the motor unit. It is so quaint that this branch line has its own private little platform separate to the main station. So all that's left for me to do is to get into the main Studenka station and pick up the next northbound train on its way to Ostrava. But I'll leave you here and thank you very much for joining me on this short hop from Stramberg to Studenka. If you've enjoyed this short video then please join me again. I release videos weekly of train trips around the UK and Europe. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.